the aircraft mechanic, general study guide, materials and processes. Magnetic particle inspection is used primarily to detect flaws on or near the surface. Liquid penetrant inspection methods may be used on which of the following? Porous plastics, ferrous metals, non-ferrous metals, smooth primer sealed wood, non-porous plastics. 2, 3, 5. Which of these non-destructive testing methods is suitable for the inspection of most metals plastic and ceramics for surface and subsurface defects? Ultrasonic inspection. Which of the following defects are not acceptable for metal lines? Cracked flare seams. Dents in the heel of a bend less than 20% of tube diameter. Scratches nicks on the inside of a bend less than 10% of wall thickness. Dents in straight section that are 20% of tube diameter. 1, 2, 3, and 5. What non-destructive testing method requires little or no part preparation is used to detect surface or near-surface defects in most metals and may also be used to separate metals or alloys in their heat treat conditions. What method of magnetic particle inspection is used most often to inspect aircraft parts for invisible cracks and other defects continuous? How many of these factors are considered essential knowledge for X-ray expose? A. Processing of the film, material thickness and density, exposure distance and angle, film characteristics. 3. The testing medium that is generally used in magnetic particle inspection method is true. It may be used with steel which have been heat treated for stress applications. A mechanic has completed a bonded honeycomb repair using the potted compound repair technique. What non-destructive testing method is used to determine the soundness of the repair after the repair has cured? Metallic ring test. What two types of indicating mediums are available for magnetic particle inspection? Wet and dry process materials. Which of the following materials may be inspected using the magnetic particle inspection method? Magnesium alloys, aluminum alloys, iron alloys, zinc alloys. 3. One way a part may be demagnetized after magnetic particle inspection is by slowly moving the pad out of an AC magnetic field of sufficient strength. Which type crack can be detected by magnetic particle inspection using either circular or longitudinal magnetization? 45F. Which of the following methods may be suitable to use to detect cracks open to the surface in aluminum forgings and castings? Dye penetrant inspection, magnetic particle inspection, metallic ring coin tap inspection, eddy current inspection, ultrasonic inspection, visual inspection, 1, 4, 5, 6. To detect a minute crack using dye penetrant inspection usually requires a longer than normal penetrating time. Which of the following is a main determining of the dwell time to use when conducting a dye or fluorescent penetrant inspection? The size and shape of the discontinuities being looked for. When checking an item with a magnetic particle inspection method, circular and longitudinal magnetization should be used to reveal all possible defects. In magnetic particle inspection flaw that is perpendicular to the magnetic field flux lines generally causes a large disruption in the magnetic field. If dye penetrant inspection indications are not sharp and clear, the most probable cause is that the part was not thoroughly washed before the developer was applied. 1. An aircraft part may be demagnetized by subjecting it to a magnetizing force from alternating current that is gradually reduced in strength. 2. An aircraft part may be demagnetized by subjecting it to a magnetizing force from direct current that is alternately reversed in direction and gradually reduced in strength. Regarding the above statements both number 1 and number 2 are true. The pattern for an inclusion is a magnetic particle build-up forming parallel lines. A part which is being prepared for dye penetrant inspection should be cleaned with a volatile petroleum-based solvent. Under a magnetic particle inspection, a part will be identified as having a fatigue crack under which condition? The discontinuity is found in a highly stressed area of the part. 
In performing a dye penetrant inspection, the developer acts as a blotter to produce a visible indication. What defects will be detected by magnetizing a part using continuous longitudinal magnetization with a cable? Defects perpendicular to the long axis of the part. Circular magnetization of a part can be used to defect which defects. Defects parallel to the long axis of the part. 1. In non-destructive testing, a discontinuity may be defined as an interruption in the normal physical structure or configuration of a part. 2. A discontinuity may or may not affect the usefulness of a part. Regarding the above statements, both number 1 and number 2 are true. What type of corrosion may attack the grain boundaries of aluminum alloys when the heat treatment process has been improperly accomplished intergranular? Which of the following describe the effects of annealing steel in aluminum alloys? Decrease in internal stress, softening of the metal, improved corrosion resistance. 1. 2. Which heat treating process of metal produces a hard wear resistant surface over a strong, tough core? Case hardening. Which heat treating operation would be performed when the surface of the metal is changed chemically by introducing a high carbide or nitride content? Case hardening. Normalizing is a process of heat treating. Iron base metals only. Which of the following occurs when a mechanical force is repeatedly applied to most metals at room temperature, such as rolling, hammering, or bending? The metals become artificially aged. The metals become stress corrosion cracked. The metals become cold work strain or work hardened. 3. The reheating of a heat treated metal, such as with a welding torch, can significantly alter a metal's properties in the reheated altered. Why is steel tempered after being hardened? To relieve its internal stresses and reduce its brittleness. What aluminum alloy designations indicate that the metal has received no hardening or tempering treatment? 3003F. Which material cannot be heat treated repeatedly without harmful effects? Clad aluminum alloy. What is descriptive of the annealing process of steel during and after it has been annealed? Slow cooling, low strength. Unless otherwise specified torque values for tightening aircraft nuts and bolts relate to Clean, dry threads. What is generally used in the construction of aircraft exhaust collectors, stacks, and manifolds? Stainless steel. What metal has special short-time heat properties and is used in the construction of aircraft firewalls? Titanium alloy. Unless otherwise specified or required, aircraft bolts should be installed so that the bolt head is upward or in a forward direction. Alclad is a metal consisting of Pure aluminum surface layers on an aluminum alloy core, a fiber type. Self-locking nut must never be used on an aircraft if the bolt is subject to rotation. Self-locking nuts may be used on aircraft provided that the bolt or nut is not subject to rotation. The Society of Automotive Engineers, SAIT, and the American Iron and Steel Institute use a numerical index system to identify the composition of various steels. In the number 4130, designating chromium molybdenum steel, the first digit indicates the basic alloying element. Refer to figure 42. Which of the bolt head code markings shown identifies an incorrosion resistant steel bolt? 3. Aircraft bolts with a cross or asterisk marked on the bolted are standard steel bolts. Which statement regarding aircraft bolts is correct? In general, bolt grip lengths should equal the material thickness. Generally speaking, bolt grip length should be equal to the thickness of the material which is fastened together. Which is fastened together. When the specific torque value for nuts is not given, where can the recommended torque value be found? AC 43.13 to 1B. Refer to figure 43. Identify the clevis bolt illustrated. 3. A particular component is attached to the aircraft structure by the use of an aircraft bolt and a castle tension nut combination. If the cotter pin hole does not align within the recommended torque range, the acceptable practice is to change washers and try again. A bolt with a single raised dash on the head is classified as in 
and corrosion resistant steel bolt. How is a clevis bolt used with a fork end cable terminal secured? With a shear nut tightened to a snug fit but with no strain imposed on the fork and safetyed with a cotter pin. Where is an end clevis bolt used in an airplane? Only for shear load applications. A bolt with an X inside a triangle on the head of it is classified as in. NAS Close Tolerance Bolt The core material of Alclad 2024 T4 is Heat-treated aluminum alloy and the surface material is commercially pure aluminum. The aluminum code number 1100 identifies what type of aluminum. 99% commercially pure aluminum. Aircraft bolts are usually manufactured with a Class 3 fit for the threads. In the four-digit aluminum index system number 2024, the first digit indicates the major alloying element. How is the locking feature of the fiber type lock nut obtained? By the use of an unthreaded fiber locking insert. Why should an aircraft maintenance technician be familiar with weld nomenclature? In order to gain familiarity with the welding technique filler material and temperature range used. Refer to figure 44. Identify the weld caused by an excessive amount of acetylene. 3. Refer to figure 44. Select illustration which depicts a cold weld. 2. Why is it considered good practice to normalize a part after welding? To relieve internal stresses developed within the base metal. Holes in a few projecting globules are found in a weld. What action should be taken? Remove all the old weld and reel the joint. Which condition indicates a part has cooled too quickly after being welded? Cracking adjacent to the weld. Select a characteristic of a good gas weld. The weld should taper off smoothly into the base metal. One characteristic of a good weld is that is that no oxide should be formed on the base metal at a distance from the weld of more than one half inch. In examining and evaluating a welded joint, a mechanic should be familiar with likely ambient exposure conditions and intended use of the part, along with type of weld and original part material composition. Refer to figure 45. What type weld is shown at A? But, refer to figure 45. What type weld is shown at B? Double butt. Refer to figure 45. What type weld is shown at G? Lap. On a fillet weld, the penetration requirement includes what percentages of the base metal thickness? 25 to 50 percent. Which tool be used to measure the alignment of a rotor shaft or the plane of rotation of a disc? Dial indicator. Refer to figure 46. The measurement reading on the illustrated micrometer is 0.2851. Identify the correct statement. Dividers do not provide a reading when used as a measuring device. Refer to figure 47. What is the measurement reading on the Vernier caliper scale? 1.436 inches. Which tool is used to measure the clearance between a surface plate and a relatively narrow surface being checked for flatness? Thickness gauge. Which number represents the Vernier scale graduation of a micrometer? 0001. Which tool is used to find the center of a shaft or is other cylindrical work? Combination set. Refer to figure 48. What does the micrometer read? 3004. If it is necessary to accurately measure the diameter of a hole approximately one quarter inch in diameter, the mechanic should use a small hole gauge and determine the size of the hole by taking a micrometer reading of the ball end of the gauge. Refer to figure 49. The measurement reading on the micrometer is 2792. What tool is generally used to set it a divider to an exact dimension? Machine is scale. What tool is generally used to calibrate a micrometer or check its accuracy? Gauge block. What precision measuring tool is used for measuring crank pin and main bearing journals for out of round wear? Micrometer caliper. The side clearances of piston rings are measured with a thickness gauge. How can the dimensional inspection of a bearing in a rocker arm be accomplished? Telescopic gauge and micrometer. 
The twist of a connecting rod is checked by installing push fit arbors in both ends, supported by parallel steel bars on a surface plate. Measurements are taken between the arbor and the parallel bar with a thickness gauge. The clearance between the piston rings and the ring lands is measured with a thickness gauge. What may be used to check the stem on a poppet type valve for stretch micrometer. Which tool be used to determine piston pin out of round wear? Micrometer caliper.